everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to make the world's easiest beaded bead. So fast, so easy. You probably have these beads in your stash. I know this time of year with the holidays coming up, um, I just, sometimes I just want to put my really complicated projects aside and just make something really quick and easy, have it in my stash to use for later. That's what, um, that's what this is for. So I'll give you a look at it. So here's, here's one a little closer. Look at that. It's just a very, very easy bead. I've used some of the beads from the um, Royal Plumage Collection uh, by Eureka Crystal Beads. I had some left over. We did some really pretty um, pieces from that collection. I'll link those down below. Um, but this is, you know, five minutes. All right, so I'm just going to launch into materials because here they are. We have the Mini Duo. We have an eight millimeter truck bead pearl round bead whatever you like. We've got the gem, a gem duo and some 11 0 seed beads. Eight pound fire line. I use black satin. You can use a size 10 beading needle here. So let's just launch into this bead. And when I was actually putting them, <laughs> I was putting them out and thinking, what can I do with these? What if you just made, four, you know, another row of four and made an ornament like a, a for your tree out of it? It would look like a kind of like a Christmas tree. I, I don't know but lots of fun. Okay, so thread your needle with 30 inches of thread, put on a stop bead and leave enough of a tail to sew in. So I picked up and dropped down to my stop bead, a mini duo and a gem duo, and I did that six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Just like that. I'm just gonna sew it into, sew these into a circle. So I just sew through the first couple of beads after your stop bead. Like that. That's what you have. It's going to kind of bunch up and look all weird and everything. And then you just want to reinforce this all the way around. And reinforced all the way around, and I want you to exit the bottom hole, that's where you are right now, of a mini duo. Like that. And then you're just going to sew up through the top hole of that mini duo that you're exiting. And you want to make sure all your minis are facing straight up. Like that. See that? Okay. I'm going to take an 11 0 and we're going to we're exiting the top hole of a mini. I'm going to sew through the top hole of the next mini. How easy is this? I'm just going to pull these all together by putting an 11 0 in between each one. And it's a little clumsy at first, but and it's going to kind of fall all over the place. But just all you need to do is just make sure you get an 11 out in between each mini duo and then meet me back. Coming to my last 11 out. So I'm just going to pop that on and I'm going to sew through the next few beads and just reinforce that as well. Okay, so this is where you are. I've reinforced this part and I'm exiting the bottom hole of a mini. Sew through the top hole of that mini. The bottom hole of gem duo and then the top hole of a gem duo. So I have. Okay, now that's cute and we could actually play with that and make a bracelet or whatever. I just love it when you're making something and you just, like during steps during the way, you can just go into a different direction. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna turn it this way. I'm on the back now, exiting the top hole of a gem duo. Kind of just gonna put a mini duo in between each gem duo. Like that. Did I tell you this was like the easiest little beaded bead ever? So just do that all the way around. Okay, coming down to my last mini duo. I'm going to sew through the gem duo. The bottom hole of that mini duo. And you can, you can reinforce this again, or all the way around. So I'll just let you do that and then come back and put the probe. Okay, so I've reinforced it all the way around and now I'm exiting the bottom hole of a mini. I'm going to sew through the top hole of that mini, the mini duo. And I'm going to pop my pearl in. Now I'm just going to pop it in so that the, the um, hole in the pearl is not showing. I don't think you really need to connect there. Um, as far as, you know, having the, having it spin around because it's really tight. I don't think it's going to, it's going to, um, be a problem. So just make sure that the whole of your pearl is facing like this way instead of up. And then all you're going to do is close it up. 11-0 in between your mini. 
11 0 in between your mini. Whoops, your pearl might pop out. Just make sure you pop it in. And then just do that all the way around and reinforce. And okay, that's done. So that's like the quickest little uh, beaded bead ever, isn't it? And so cute. And I think it would be so much fun to connect. You can connect through the um, the mini duos or connect beads through the gem duos. So many places for connections. And you could make a really pretty necklace. I mean, I'll probably make something out of it. I'd love to see what you guys come with. Please uh, make it and post it and post your... Um, you know your creations on Facebook. You, could, you know you can take an ear wire, make a couple of the cutest little, just tiny little ear. Well, they're not that tiny, but the cutest little earrings. So anyway, here you go. Here's your little bead of bead. So have fun with it, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.